Nigerian youth have opposed the oath of secrecy issued to their representatives on the Lagos panel probing the disbanded special anti robbery squad, SARS. The judicial body was constituted by the Lagos state government on October 15. Rinu Odwala and Temitope Majekodumi joined Lagos panel of inquiry and restitution for victims on Tuesday. The oath given to them to sign leaked on social media and respondents are upset. The panel reported withdrew the oath before swearing in the youth representatives. And joining us live to discuss this is uh, Mr. Stephen Agiode, legal practitioner. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. It's my pleasure. What's the provision of the law on this oath of secrecy? Yes, uh, section three of the Tribunal of Inquiry Law of Legal State provides for members of a panel of inquiry to be, to be sworn to an oath of secrecy as to impartiality, as to faithfully carrying out their duties, and in, 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 in events of uh, matters that relate to proceedings that are not in public, that they should not divulge information about uh, particulars of uh, the vote of other members or the opinion of other members or any other matter which, uh, which are done in proceedings that are not in public. So, the, so um, it's actually a matter of law that when you are made a member of a, a panel of, of inquiry, you are sworn in. Now, you just mentioned that... Uh, the okay. You, you just stated that the oath of secrecy uh, constitutes that you cannot divulge, you know, what uh, are, the, are the opinions of other panel members. So what else cannot be divulged? Uh, you, for instance, you know, this is a panel. They will vote on certain issues, uh, on their recommendations. Uh, you, you, if you are a member, you are not at liberty to disclose that this one voted this way, or this one voted this way, or this is how it was arrived at. Those are things that are done in private and they will be kept in private so long as you are a member. And that's the position of the law. It's, not, uh, it's an objective position. It's not uh, a subjective position. The law was made before these uh, incidents occurred. So that's just the position of the law. It's very clear. And can this panel take the format of live TV broadcast as is seen today, or would that also contravene the oath? No, the, the, the law provides that the panel itself can hold its proceedings in public as they are doing right now. And uh, those matters that are in public, uh, obviously there's no need for secrecy for them, and the law does not say we should keep them secret. Everyone can see them. But when they then perhaps recline into their chambers and consult and vote on matters, on their decisions. And they, they have some, such a private conversations as a panel, as a judicial panel, you may not be able to disclose those proceedings. And now, heading now to the substance of, the of that investigation, Mr. Agiode, how can the public be assuaged that it will be transparent? Well, it is transparent insofar as the proceedings are in public, they are on television right now. Those parts of that investigation are open and transparent. But the part that relates to how they are going to vote, how they are going to make uh, the, the starting decisions as to how they by members, so that they will have, I believe it is so that they will have confidence in each other. Though the law provides that uh, those kinds of matters should be kept secret. And uh, lastly, we see that uh, you just explained that the oath of secrecy... I don't think it's material. Mm -hmm. Okay, please go ahead. No, no, no. I'm listening to you. 
Okay, I said just before I let you go, Mr. Agyode, I would like to ask you, you know, you just mentioned that the oath of secrecy, you know, is legal, is enshrined in the constitution, but the people don't exactly see it that way. So how do you think the government can build trust, you know, and confidence in the people that the panel would truly be free and fair? Well, uh, what I, first of all, is the Tribunal of Inquiry Law. It's not a, an act. It's the Tribunal of Inquiry Law of Lagos State. Well, what I think is that the government uh, should uh, publicize that this part of the provision of the law. I would have thought that uh, the relevant department of government would have gone on a, immediately this thing appeared on Twitter, gone on a publicity spree to explain what the law says, that uh, this is the law as far as tribunals of inquiry are concerned. I'm surprised that uh, they've not done this and uh, it's left to lawyers like us to explain what it is. But uh, this is actually the position of the law. I don't think the news should entertain any misgivings as to transparency on account of uh, what is in the law. Mm. So you're basically advocating for more communication, open communication between the government and the people. That's right. I think that is that is what we solve this problem. Um, the tribunal itself should simplify its proceedings. That's my opinion. Make this as simple as possible so that uh, people can understand their proceedings and uh, uh, try and be as open as possible too. Because on this kind of matter, too, the tribunal could have no power to explain the, what the law has said them of since. Uh, so All right, Mr. Agiode, thank you very much uh, for being with us on the program. My pleasure.